Now me. All right, Roger, we hear you loud and clear. Uh, for the upcoming mode 34, at step 33, we want you to roll the Cirrus gimbal to plus positive 30 degrees prior to MPC execute press. Okay, we'll set the uh, we'll set tangent height at 90. And roll plus 30 degrees on the gimbal before we start it running. Uh, Roger, that'll protect you from uh, the ram. Understand. We are currently currently receiving a downlink from Discovery as it passes over the Pacific Ocean. Once again, the Cirrus is part of the AFP 675. The problems that have occurred with the two tape recorders on AFP 675 have had no impact on Cirrus. Cirrus is performing quite well. The community, the payload community, working with that particular instrument is very happy with the active with the data that they've received. Cirrus is the primary payload on AFP 675. The recorders in question um, are related to the secondary payloads, specifically the FAR UV, which is which performs imaging and phot photometry of natural and man-made ultraviolet emissions, the uniformly redundant array, or URA, which measures spectral and spatial characteristics of the Earth's horizon, and QUIMS, the quadrupole ion neutral spectrometer, which determines and identifies contamination for cirrus. The loss of those recorders is not a complete loss of data for the AFP secondary community. We still will be able to get some real-time data from those instruments, 